You want a commercial flight tracking subscription from FlightAware or FlightRadar24, but you think they're too expensive. Yeah, I agree. But how about free? Okay, not completely free, but we'll get to that. If you set up an ADSB feeder and send your data to FlightAware or FlightRadar24, they will give you an enterprise or business account for free. FlightAware normally charges you a hundred bucks a year for an enterprise account, and FlightRadar24 wants a whopping $500 for the business account. And both of them could be free for you if you set up an ADSB feeder. So how much will that cost you? Well, that depends. In this video, I'll show you how cheaply you can get started. And in order to do this, we'll order the parts directly from China via AliExpress. At the end of the video, I'll show you how much you'd pay for roughly the same setup if ordered from Amazon in the US or in Europe. Prices in Europe often are a bit higher, and the rest of the world, yeah, AliExpress may be your best bet. Anyway, what do we need? Let's start with a single board computer. I'll assume an Orange Pi 03 for this video. It's a great balance between price and performance, and it does everything you need. Right now, about $17. A case for it, as low as three bucks. You need a power supply, somewhere between three and $10, maybe not the thing to go super cheap. on. A software-defined radio or SDR to actually receive the ADSB signals. A really good one can be found for around 20 bucks, this one is surprisingly good and rebranded by a number of vendors in the US and Europe, of course, at a higher price. You need an antenna. There are a couple of really funky looking PCB based ones that work reasonably well indoors for around $3. And while you can plug this all together, getting a relatively short cable for a few dollars definitely is worth it. Finally, you need a micro SD card. These are a bit scary to get from AliExpress as there are so many fakes out there that really don't work. But apparently you can get one from a reasonably well-reviewed source for around five bucks, even including a really slow USB dongle. If you order all of this together, you'll almost certainly qualify for free shipping on many of the parts, but overall prices fluctuate pretty much daily. When I put all of these in my shopping cart today and asked for shipping to the US, the total was just under $60. Shipping usually takes between one and three weeks, depending on where exactly you are in the world, but at this price, it might be worth the wait. So now, how do you put this together? I have a slightly different case, but the process is the same. First, you write the software to the SD card. You can do this on any Windows, Mac, or Linux system. Download the Pi Imager from raspberrypi.com slash software and download the ADSB feeder image software from the adsb.im slash download website. All of these links are in the description below. Use the Pi Imager to write the image to the SD card with a slow USB adapter shown earlier. This will take a while, but maybe your computer supports SD cards directly, or you happen to have a much faster USB 3 adapter already, which will make all of this much easier. Now take your orange pie and place it into the case. Depending on the exact case, there may be some assembly required, but this tends to be super obvious. Make sure you do not insert the micro SD card into the orange pie before you place the board into the case. If you do it the other way around, it's really easy to damage the micro SD card as you deal with the mechanics of inserting the board. Now close the case, flip it around and insert the SD card into the little slot. Next, insert the SDR into the USB port. Connect the cable first to the SDR and then to the antenna. Mount the antenna by a window. Yes, there are prettier ways to do this, but hey, I said cheap, not better living compatible. Plug an Ethernet cable into your Orange Pi. If you want to use Wi-Fi, I'll link to a video below that shows you how to set up Wi-Fi after first boot. It's really simple. Finally, connect the power supply to the Orange Pi and plug it in. If you are on Wi-Fi, you need to set up the SSID as explained in the other video. In either case, you'll need to wait for a few minutes for the first boot to finish. And yes, it will take a few minutes. Please be patient. Use a browser on the same network and type adsb-feeder.local. In most typical home network setups, that should be enough to get you connected to your feeder. If that doesn't work, try going to my.adsb.im. For 99% of users, one of those two methods reliably works. If neither works for you, 
comment below and I'll help you figure out what's wrong. With this, all of the hard parts are done. Now configure your location, decide which aggregators to feed. Of course, you need to set up FlightAware and FlightRadar24 in order to be able to benefit from the free accounts. It's fully automated and really easy. There are also a couple of videos in my channel that walk you through the overall setup process and setting up FlightAware and FlightRadar24. So with under $60 spent and just a little patience, you can get two free subscriptions to commercial flight tracking services, allegedly worth $600 a year. And for good measure, you can support some of the open aggregators as well. As I promised earlier in the video, let's take a quick look how much this would cost if you didn't want to order from AliExpress. In the US, you could get a reasonably similar setup for about $100. Links are below in the description. I tried to find the same components using the local Amazon stores in Europe, but some of them don't have all the components, so you may have to switch to a neighboring country, for example, for the SDR. When I looked at the Amazon Italy store, I was able to find pretty much the same things for about 120 euros. If you ever considered paying for FlightAware or FlightRadar24 subscription, this setup will pay for itself in a year or less. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and comment to keep the algorithm happy.